Hi, I'm RK here. Last time we were talking about state trees and its AI applications. We made an enemy that hunts the player and I showed you how to use the system and talked about, well, pretty much every aspect of it. Uh, except one, state tree events. And I'm gonna, gonna talk a little bit about it today because I actually use it to, uh, to make the system I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Uh, if you didn't watch the, the previous video and don't know state trees, please, well, please watch it first. Uh, link is in the description uh, so you know what state trees are and how to, how to use them. This video is just an expansion. I'm not gonna <laughs> talk about the basics. I'm just gonna talk about stuff I missed and I think should be added to that video. Uh, so let's begin. It's uh, actually not that easy to come up with an idea on how to use state trees outside of AI, uh, because state trees are made or well made to kind of replace behavior trees, right? And behavior trees are um, strictly tied to AI controllers. But uh, as I said before, state trees are just com uh, components uh, that can be added to any actor. So we can add it to that cube basically, and and it's we can utilize it, no problem. Uh, so my idea for making something non-AI related uh, was to make an environment blueprint that reacts to its surroundings. So here I made a little night tree, as you can see uh, from the label. And that night tree will react to the time of day. When it's night, the tree will expand, show its well, floating branch and some um, particles around it. And when the night ends, so we, we have a moon, but it's, it's quite slow. <laughs> it's still so super, super faster than normal moon. So when the moon hides and the night ends, the tree also hides and the particles disappear. So very simple stuff, but I think it is quite nice uh, for actually using a state tree. Because this is what it is, right? It's just state. State of day and when the sun, go sun goes down, it's a state of night. and it changes the uh, the position of, of the branch, just changes the, the activation of, of components. So yeah, pretty, pretty simple, but I think quite nice and effective. So how did I do that? Well, first thing first, uh, I made a new interface called BPI and Vero. And in that interface, I made a new function called change time of day. So in my way of thinking, this is the, an interface that we can add to any blueprint that we want to uh, be affected by, by those surroundings. Uh, so here we have a, a nice tree, but we can just as well make another blueprint, call it, uh, what can we call it? Day Lily, for example, and make it unrelated to the night tree, but still add the interface. And when we want to call an event, it will call it to every actor with, with interface, All right? Uh, second thing I added is of course the, the particle system, but it's nothing, nothing too crazy, just a normal system from, from template. If you want to recreate, it's just uh, go to Niagara system. <clears throat> Select new system from selected emitters and choose um, choose hanging particulates and basically add it, finish, and you and you have this what <laughs> what I made just simple as that. And uh, last thing, I of course made uh, the blueprint that was uh, reacting to the the time of day. Um, of course, it's not the last thing to <laughs> I made, but I, I just said that for, for some reason. Uh, 
I guess last thing before state trees. <laughs> uh, so uh, the night tree is basically a cube and a branch. Branch is a custom mesh I made inside the engine, but you could just as well use anything else you want. And then branch uh, has a point light and a Niagara system. So particles that are attached to, to that branch. And that branch will move just up and down uh, on even. Mm, here I'm going to show you the, the event. It's just a basic uh, branch timeline and vector lerp. So it lerps between uh, relative locations Z100 and 250. So just a simple function I'm going to call in state tree task. And then, of course, we have an implementation of, uh, of that interface. We are using uh, the interface function. We are making a state tree event. I, of course, showed you e this in previous video about state trees, but I didn't use it. This time I used it. Uh, the state tree event is basically a gameplay tag, uh, but it also has origin. So if you break that, uh, I don't know what I just did. Break. Oh, for each loop with break. So I guess make, not break. This would be breaking, right? The output is breaking, the input is making. Sorry about that. So if we uh, make it, we have a gameplay tag structure and just a name. So origin. We can uh, utilize that origin name if we want to check from where that event uh, came from. But we don't really need to check it uh, from here, so we leave it as num and just use gameplay tag structure. For gameplay tags, mm, of course, we need to have uh, gameplay tags enabled. But when you do, you go to gameplay tags and just add tags. In this case, I added uh, a tag time of day that has sub tags day and night and I use those to uh, to steer the events because you call event with just a tag and you can uh, assign that tag later to to anything you really you want so gameplay tags very nice to use and very nice to use with state trees because because of those events uh, this is just a, a print. We can basically delete that. So it's just that. And our blueprint has, of course, the state tree component where we added ST environment. Uh, let's also go to uh, main before we go to state trees because there uh, I have a logic there that, uh, that steers the sun and the moon. So in main, so basically in level blueprint editor, you open this with, with that. I did it in level blueprint because it's, it's just the easiest way to do that, but you can also do it uh, in other blueprints, but I don't want to spend <laughs> my time searching for, for ways to how to make it nice because you also need a ref to moon and sun and it might be tricky, but I don't know. I don't need that. Just go with level blueprint. And in begin play, I get all actors with interface, bpy and vero, and set it to an array. So I can use it later without getting all actors, of course. And on event tick, uh, I have moon and sunlight. I add for rotation basically and it changes the uh, their position and make a simple day night cycle uh, then I break rotator from from that sun rotator I of course could just use that but I also set it to a game instance so I can save uh, the value in save game I of course don't have the save game uh, system right now, but if I wanted to implement it, it is just there so I can use it. Uh, same with uh, score. 
if you don't know why is there a score watch my video about uh, my well steps to make a new FPP project I'm gonna link it in the description why not uh, so I just check it with pitch because I already checked that when it's day the the pitch is negative and when it's night the pitch is uh, positive so based on that I applied this code so when it's day I just uh, mm, call a function from from that interface change time of day with gameplay tag time of day and when I want to make it night then I just <laughs> call function with a gameplay tag time of day night and this tag of course is right here time of day with type gameplay tag type so I think this is done this is working nicely and I think <laughs> there is not, no much, not much more to explain let's go to actual state tree which is very very simple uh, in context actor class uh, I call to BP night tree of course it's not so um, expandable because if you want to reuse that state tree you would have to uh, make um, only um, blueprints with that class or children uh, that has this class as parent uh, but you can also uh, change it to actor and remake it a little bit so you can reuse the state tree but if you don't want to uh, <laughs> change what I made here you can just of course make a new state tree for for every uh, actor class uh, that wants to use the state tree uh, and the state tree basically is a root and two states that are not related so it's as simple state tree as, as you can make and the day state tree as well as nice uh, night uh, state state logic block ah, I called it logic block in, in the previous video of course that's, uh, that's a nice name uh, it has a task those tasks are the same and transition transition is basically a trigger on event with event tag time of day night and it transitions to night whenever that tag is called so uh, this this uh, calls uh, a change an event with that tag and it basically triggers the transition if we are on this block same for this just reverse so from night it goes to time of day that day transition to day so that's, <laughs> that's basically it and the state tree looks like that so it, we just have a price preset that I made it's just a, an integer if it's zero it's day if it's one it's night then we call a function to night tree that moves the branch where is it here so we are just calling this function to move the branch because unfortunately we cannot uh, have timelines in state tree tasks so we had to do this uh, right here and we are deactivating the uh, the niagara system particles on night we do the same but in reverse so we uh, raise the branch and we activate and the Niagara system particles and that's it basically and uh, you may wonder if you watched my previous video why didn't I use uh, the enter state mm, variable why didn't I use that trick with uh, with overriding tick because it doesn't really matter if it's succeeded failed running or unset it really doesn't matter be because we change uh, states on event and that state only matters if we are making on state completed succeeded failed uh, so basically on those three conditions events 
And if we don't use the events, those events, then it's fine. So yeah, this this was the application of uh, a state tree for so for something non AI. So in this case, uh, environment uh, blueprints. And I think uh, I kind of exhausted the the topic. I know in Unreal Engine five point two we have uh, global tasks in state trees. So I'm probably gonna talk about it when. Uh, when that version releases, but for now, I think we are pretty much done with state trees. If you have any questions and if you would like to request another video about something uh, with state trees, then don't hesitate, write in the, the, uh, write in the comments and I'm sure to read it and, and respond. And probably I'm gonna record something more if you, if you really want. So that's it. Hope you learned something and till the next time. Bye bye.